choose the patient and create a new case. In the pop-up window, select the lab to which you will send the case. On the order page, press Bridge, then Implant Abutment or Screw Retain Crown, and select the teeth. Now select the tooth for the Pontic. Then select the Implant Connection and choose Manufacturer, System and Connection. Lastly, choose Material for the Implant and a Crown and the shade if it's needed. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. The Emergent Profile Scan is selected by default. This is the recommended workflow due to the ease of use, but you may deselect the Emergence Profile if you prefer to scan only the scan body. You also have the option to add a pre-preparation scan if needed. When done, proceed to the Scan page. You'll have four scans to do. Lower Arch, Upper Arch with Emergence Profile, Upper Arch with Scan Bodies, and Occlusion. Scan the opposing arch first. Follow the official scan strategy. Now proceed to the upper arch. First, scan the same area as in the lower arch, with the healing caps in place. Then trim away the healing caps in the scan. Remove the first healing cap, dry the area and scan the emergence profile immediately, before the gingiva collapses. Start scanning on a neighbouring tooth before moving on to scan the emergence profile. Then, paint the area of the Emergence Profile using the Lock tool. This will freeze the Emergence Profile in its current retracted state, thus preventing it from being updated with later data when gingiva might have collapsed. Repeat this procedure for all implants. Make sure to also cover the contact points in the scan. Finally, mark the preparations. You will see a blue overlay around the preparation mark, indicating the area that will be automatically cut out when going to the scan body page. If necessary, you may reposition the preparation mark to obtain your desired cutout. Now proceed to the scan body page. First, make sure that all the healing caps have been trimmed away, as well as the nearby surroundings. Insert the scan bodies and start the scanner, pointing at a neighbouring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move the scan body and circle around it to scan it from all angles. It is especially important to cover the upper third of the scan body to make sure it is possible for the laboratory to recognize the correct position. If you have only one scan body, you may move it between the implants to scan them one by one. Now move to the bite scan page. Insert the scan tip to the second molar on the buccal side. Ask the patient to bite. Scan three to four teeth until the upper and lower arches snap to the bite scan. The light blue surface indicates the surface covered by the bite scan. The alignment is done automatically. However, if it fails, proceed to manual alignment. Go to the Analyze page and confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw. Optionally, you can set the margin line. Post-processing will be done automatically when you send the order. However, it is recommended to do post-processing first if you wish to set the margin line before sending. Finally, switch to the Send page. You'll see a summary of the order. Press the Send button to send the order.